The Apple Pencil finally got a redesign. It is what everyone has been asking for. No one liked to look like an idiot and charge your iPad like we used to with our first generation. They improved on a lot of things while still retaining most of all the beautiful technology that came included with the first generation Apple Pencil. But at $130, is it really justifiable to pick this product up? Definitely watch until the end so I can give you my final thoughts on who I really think should pick up this Apple Pencil. It's the kind of beat the gold. Alright, so the second gen Apple Pencil comes in this small rectangular box just with a picture of the Apple Pencil here in the front. And so just highlighting a few features about this, it is going to have a smooth edge here which should help with the pencil not rolling off the table anymore because it seemed like everyone was always just losing their Apple Pencil, just rolling all over the place, all over the damn house even. They did also take away that little cap, which also got lost everywhere. I think I had to replace mine like three times. Uh, so they did that as well as they now have this touch sensitive section on the pencil that it will actually switch from like, say a marker to a pencil to an eraser. So there's a lot of really good improvements. Uh, but anyway, let's jump right in. So we do have Apple Pencil branding right there. Uh, nothing right here because is where I actually are going to pull it out. Apple Pencil again. And we just have our little tab right here. Now on the back, we are going to be shown how to actually charge this. So now you're not going to look like an idiot charging this. Putting it into your iPad and it looks like some kind of weird unicorn. So they finally found a better engineering solution to charging it. So let's go ahead and pull this tab right here. and very slowly remove the box within a box. Designed by Apple in California. Are you surprised? I'm not. So let's see what we get in here in our little uh, documentation. So we do get Apple Pencil, and this is just gonna be some few instructions on how to actually use the Apple Pencil. So it's pretty minimal when it comes to instructions. This is gonna be your warranty and information guide. And because this is an Apple accessory, we don't get any Apple stickers. So now going back to what we really came here for, the actual Apple Pencil. So it is gonna be wrapped in this plastic, that way it protects it from shipment. So let's just go ahead and remove this. And there you have it. Here is your new updated Apple Pencil. So just right away, what I've noticed is that it does have a matte kind of finish to it. Uh, so it's going to feel a lot better. It's a lot grippier now. And actually, it does feel lighter. And because it's shorter, it just feels much more like a natural pencil. The other one just seemed a little too heavy. And so just to compare it, here's the first generation Apple Pencil. And then here's the second generation Apple Pencil. So as you can kind of see, there is a big difference when it comes to the length. They essentially just took this cap off and then just removed it entirely. So here's what would happen when you would accidentally roll your pencil on the table and is currently on the floor. With this one, having that one flat edge, it should help alleviate that problem. Yeah, like magic, I know. Uh, so finally they were able to fix that. Now here's the previous generation iPad. Now it is very important to note, the first generation Apple Pencil will not work with the new iPads and vice versa. This will not work on here. So there's no way to actually magnetically clip this, therefore there's no way of pairing or syncing it. So keep that in mind. Second gen Apple Pencil only works with third gen iPad Pro and the first gen Apple Pencil is only gonna work with your first and second generation iPad Pros. Confusing, I know. So the way that you would charge the previous one, I've had several people give me looks and look at me like I'm some kind of stupid, right? And I mean, you're not wrong, because first you would have to set this aside Look, there it is. It just rolled off the table. So that already rolled off the table. So now I'm prone to lose that, which I have before. And so now you have a lightning connector here at the top. And check out this ingenious engineering right here. This is just flawless design, right? All you would do is you would connect it there and voila, you are now charging your Apple Pencil. So that was sarcasm by all who didn't know. What the hell? What kind of person approved this? Whoever it was behind the engineer team, the design team, and most of all the manager who approved this design, I really hope you're out of a job right now. There have been many times where this has been hanging off of a table and I almost knocked over my iPad Pro on a wooden 
table. That would have been horrible. It would have shattered. So Apple did in a way provide a solution to this. They did include this in the box when you got your iPad Pro. However, look at how small this is compared to the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro has to be about, I don't know, about 200 times bigger than that, maybe. So this was really easy to lose. I had to actually go on a scavenger hunt just to find this. If you wanted to be a decent human being and actually charge this the correct way, all you would really have to do is just plug this into any lightning cable or a dock just like that. And now you would just simply plug in your Apple Pencil like so and boom, you're now charging it. So still kind of a dumb fix to something that's so simple, but you could have charged it this way as well with that little adapter. But now it seems like a miracle, Apple finally listened to us. And so now with the second gen Apple Pencil, we're gonna have so many improvements. First of all, let's go ahead and demonstrate how you pair this. So if you have the iPad Pro third generation, you're gonna notice this little strip right here that's darker than the other aluminum. So all you're gonna do is put the flat side on there and would you look at that? Looks like it's pairing already. It's saying Apple Pencil, would you like to connect? Uh, all I'm gonna hit is yes, connect, and boom, there we go. You're gonna get some instructions on how to use it. It's gonna show you that if you double tap, it's gonna switch from saying eraser or a pen or even a marker. So that's really, really cool. It seems like it's connected now. So, yep, there we go. If you ever need to charge it, it's really quick. I believe in a 30 second charge you're gonna get something like five minutes of juice out of it so the apple pencil is definitely gonna be more than just a stylus it's gonna be a capacitive pencil that's really gonna be able to capitalize especially if you're a creative professional so if you're some kind of artist or web designer this is really gonna help you pinpoint and have total accuracy over what you're drawing there's almost zero latency here and what that means is that when you're drawing it's actually gonna keep up with you with zero lag as if it were a real pencil this is the notes application in the iPad that comes by default so let's say we want to get a marker and so what's really cool is that if you tilt it it's gonna start doing a much wider stroke so if we do it again let's say we were to want a really wide stroke we could just do this and if we want to make it skinnier then you just tilt it right back up and those sensors are gonna keep up and speaking of the sensors all the magic happens right here I just removed the nib all your sensors are gonna be right there so there's a lot and I mean a lot of technology going on in there that's gonna sense depth that's gonna sense the angle and the pressure as well if you want to do a really light stroke it's gonna come out really light but if I press harder on the screen well now all of a sudden the blue is a little darker it's easier to see here on this red so here's just a very light stroke I'm barely touching the screen with it and now I'm pressing even harder so as you can see it's really gonna be helpful if you're drawing if you're some kind of artist or a web designer this is gonna be perfect for you now let's try out that new feature exclusive only to the second generation iPad pencil so let's say I'm writing something here let's say I'm writing my channel username if we just double tap here now it's gonna go to our eraser and I can erase these two letters and double tap again and now I'm back over here. So that was one of my biggest gripes with the first generation Apple Pencil. So let's just pretend this is the first generation. What you would do, say I did some math tutoring and I still do, uh, that's kind of my side hustle. So let's say we were doing a math equation and we messed up, right? It'd be really annoying to just go all the way down here and erase it and now go back over here and now we can find the correct answer wait hold up that's not right there we go you might think that that's first world problems but after a while with a lot of slip ups it starts to get really annoying especially on applications like procreate where you can actually do a detailed erasing or even more detail on your ipad pro so with this new apple pencil it fixes that entirely it's really convenient i think it's a brilliant new feature that we get included with the new ipad pencil and so guys the creative possibilities with your Apple Pencil 2 and your iPad Pro are limitless. Just to give you guys an idea, this is a sketch that I drew up of Venom using only the Apple Pencil. This is incredible. Okay, I'm totally kidding. This was actually my drawing. <laughs> Got it. Uh, let's go ahead and just move on to the next segment. And so really when it comes down to it at $129, it's going to be really hard to justify whether you need this product or not. Of course, if you do any kind of photo editing or if you're just an artist or if you're a student wanting to take notes and save a little bit on the environment, then I would say go ahead and pick it up. I think it's phenomenal the kind of technology that goes into this product. However, at $130, it is quite a hefty price we have to pay. And that's already a $30 increase from last year's model. So really the only upgrades we're getting is a 
better ability to charge, a double tap to switch, and now it comes in a much more natural size and it is also going to have that matte finish instead of the glossy finish. Alrighty guys, I hope I showcased enough for you guys about this product. This is the perfect companion for your iPad Pro if you are looking at diving into the artistic abilities that this can open up for you. If you're not going to use this for notes or photo editing or any drawing type of applications, there are much better ways that you can spend your $130 than on this Apple Pencil. Hope this was informative for you guys and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.